Hello and welcome to My Life on Paper. I am Brianna. Welcome to Sketch Sunday where we all take the same sketch and I am excited to announce that this is my sketch that I created today with this beautiful bent rainbow is what I'm going to call it. Um, you can see I went ahead on my Cricut and I cut out these pieces. I'm sorry I didn't show you the picture yet. I will show you the picture but I'm super excited. This is from last May, um, Cinco de Mayo. And I had no idea what to do with a single photo. So I turned the rainbow into the colors of the flag. And you're going to say, why the heck do you have that lumpy whatever in the middle? Well, that uh, the way it was made in Cric Cricut Design Space, it was made to have a cloud in the middle. And I'd, I am putting uh, my photo mat in the middle. I didn't want a green background, but I also didn't want a white background. And so I've got this... It's not plaid because there's only one color, right? But it's striped. So it is from Me and My Big Ideas. It is from 2004. It is from my stash. I do have um, uh, papers that are in rainbow color order. Cactuses that you see are cut from the Cricut as well. And what I did was, see, the green part of the cactus is what's cut from the Cricut. I, I duplicated it. Um, I did a contour that took all the pieces out, the holes out. And then I made it a different color, so black. So now I can back that, because it, it does have see-through parts, I can back the cactus right onto the black, um, and it makes it stand out. So I'm, I'm just gluing each of these rays down one at a time. And I did line it up with the right-hand side of the page. page. It made it very easy to make it same on top and bottom. Um, and then I have room on the left side for my title. So that was quite on purpose that I, for two reasons that I did that. Here you can see I'm uh, gluing down uh, my layers of cactus so that it has that black behind it. I could have done it in a different color green. Um, I was trying to be careful because I knew they were just going to layer on top of this the flag parts. And so I didn't, I mean, I've got, already got the bright green. Now I've got the light green. I didn't want to throw another green in there. So um, black it was, and I like the way this turns out. It's a nice contrast. And I can also use some more black on my page. This layout for this sketch is a great example of how you don't have to do things exactly. Uh, it's a starting off point. It's to give you inspiration. Take from it what you want. You'll see on the bottom of that, well, I'm going to pull it up, but uh, there is one loop of the cloud that is not covered, but that's okay because I'm going to throw out one of those cactuses on there. I will be so excited to see what everybody else is doing with this. You wouldn't have to do rainbow. You wouldn't have to do the flag. You could just tear pieces of paper to go behind that. So um, I'm super excited to see how this turns out with everybody. Uh, and and uh, watch below or look below for the list of everybody that's playing along. So I my, so this is room for two four by four photos, and I left the mat the same size, thinking that I could layer like embellishments and the and the cactuses on there. And then here is my title. I got that right from Cricut. Um, I wasn't sure how to embellish my page. I went to Pinterest for some inspiration. There was heavily stereotypical Mexican things. There's sombrero, maracas, mustache. And I just didn't... Oh, I'll tell you the story of the photo and maybe that'll help. So um, I had a get together with some ladies from church um, on the 5th of May and I brought, I, oh, I was looking for some sweet bread, which I did get. And uh, then I, while I was at the Mexican bakery, I brought home some goodies for my family. So these were bakery items. Um, and so I just didn't want to make it heavily, and I certainly didn't want to make it stereotypical. Um, I do not have any Mexican heritage. I'm not super familiar with the traditions. Um, but the sweet bread was very good, so I, I stuck with the cactuses. Here are the, you can see my green tag. I wanted a little bit something to fill up that space, and I also wanted a place to journal. So I grabbed out my Nicole Jones 911 printables, and that's where the green tag is from. You saw me, um, that is my tag, uh, Fisker's tag punch, and it cut like the same exact size punch out of that red and then in case you didn't know there's a little hole in that punch where you can insert the tag to get the whole hole for the tag so that worked perfectly not only for the one I punched but also for the Nicole Jones 911 printable all right so I've got my uh year on here and then I have my pictures now um a little bit of you know some people might not want to put their 
ta um, title sideways and then the year um, not sideways, but or vertical or I don't know what you would call it. But um, I didn't really think about it. And and to me, if I didn't give it a too hard of a thought when I was doing it, it must not bother me. So um, so so that's why the title is sideways and then the date is not. All right. Um, and then I'm putting the cactuses down so they're not uh, at the same level. I wanted one up higher, one down lower. I'm going for that visual triangle, but I don't want it to go straight across. And so I did overlap a little bit my of my picture there, and you don't miss much of the uh, the bakery item there, so that's okay. I'm going to use my Barely Art glue to glue down these pieces. When I am looking at Cricut items, I am looking for things that are in cursive because they you could have gotten like a million different ones of the Cinco de Mayo. I just like the way this one looked. I thought the numbers went with it. I picked a font that the numbers went with, but um, most of the letters are together. You can see that the first letter and then that last O in Mayo is separate, but that's okay. It still is an easy glue down. And they're not um, exactly straight and stuff. They're kind of wonky and that's the way I usually glue things down so it looks like it's on purpose, which it is. And then it's just got that cute little decoration on the one side and on the other that gets glued down as well. Once I get everything glued down there, then I go back into my Nicole Jones 911 printables. Um, and, and I have them sorted by color. So this is green. So I grabbed out a label and then I'll find these flowers, which, um, I don't, f these in particular, the green flower with the green leaves, I don't find terribly easy to use, but I, they just went super well with the, the flag and then, you know, flowers go with cactuses. So, um, this is where the paper that I cut off those stripes from. So I had my, um, punch sitting on my desk. It's from Amazon. It is embossing, so it has a lift to it, um, the star. And so I will punch some of these out and then put some foam adhesive. And I think that might be, oh, no, one more thing to my, to my clusters. But uh, I punch three out for each cluster. And then, like I said, I'll put some uh, adhesive foam tape behind it. For Sketch Sunday, we had just been picking sketches but for this month at least and I have a feeling moving forward we're going to be doing our own sketches so we're each going to take a turn so I am incredibly um, grateful that I get to do the first one and I hope that everybody likes this sketch so I'm gonna lay these down and then um oh I do have this was just in my stash it's some black it might be twine that I am gonna um put onto the tag holes and then it kind of sits over the the title but that's okay I mean it's a thin thread you can still read what it says if I want to mess with it and glue it down so that it's not laying on top of the title I would totally do that but it's um, not enough to really be a bother so I've left it that way I think I wanted my black splatters but I couldn't find them which I found them now but um <laughs> So I go into, I'm like enamel dots and I found these teeny tiny little ones and I thought, well, good a time now is any to use them. So I do, um, I'll do several clusters, well, clusters with these. Um, I'll put a two, four, five. Okay. So odd numbers, right? So I've got three clusters of embellishments. Then I'm going to do two sets of three on the bottom. I must be all over the place. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Normally, if I'm doing enamel dots, I'm doing enamel dots. I guess I decided that the rest of my embellishments weren't down, so then I skipped over to this. It was the funniest thing happened, so I pulled off all the backing to the adhesive on these stars, and then I don't know what I was doing, but my arm went on the star, and I was like, where did all these stars go? And, of course, they're all, like, lined up and down my, this, my sweatshirt sleeve, so... Oh, bro, that's the first place I'll look if anything happens to my something that's been on, sitting on my desk and I can't find it. It's I go to my elbow and my and my my forearm. So, all right, each cluster gets the three red stars, and then I guess I did maybe do a cluster of three, a grouping of three of the not enamel dots. They're more like gems, but then I go in and I use a couple more, um, but I keep them to five groupings since it's an odd number so 
one on the top right, two on the top left, and then two on the bottom. And I start using, my fingers are too big, so I start using my uh, spatula for my Cricut to, to place them on there. And that works as good as anything, I guess. So P please feel free to use this sketch. And if you do use it, I would love it if you me showed me your work because I would love to see it. I think that's fabulous. If I could inspire you at all, that would be my goal and, um, and goal achieved, right? So, okay, here we go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous day and then please come back and see me again soon. Mm -hmm.